Hey guys, so if I look absolutely exhausted right now, it's because I am, but I found something and I really want to read it to you guys, so I'm going to. I pray that it ministers to you and blesses you. It's called What on Earth Am I Here For? by Rick Warren. Let's get started. It's not about you. The purpose of your life is far greater than your own personal fulfillment, your peace of mind, or even your happiness. It's far greater than your family, your career, or even your wildest dreams and ambitions. If you want to know why you were placed on this planet, you must begin with God. You were born by his purpose and for his purpose. The search for the purpose of life has puzzled people for thousands of years. That's because we typically begin at the wrong starting point, ourselves. We ask self-centered questions like, what do I want to be? What should I do with my life? What are my goals, my ambitions, my dreams for my future? But focusing on ourselves will never reveal our life's purpose. The Bible says it is God who directs the lives of his creatures. Everyone's life is in his power. Turning the page one second. Contrary to what many popular books movies and seminars tell you, you won't discover your life's meaning by looking within yourself. You have probably tried that already. You didn't create yourself, so there is no way you can tell yourself what you were created for. Now we're going to get into chapter two. It's called You Are Not an Accident. And this chapter, this is one of my favorites in this book. I've read seven of them so far, seven chapters, and this one is by far my favorite. Here we go. I am your creator. You were in my care even before you were born. Isaiah 44, 2a, CEV. God does not play dice. That is a quote by Albert Einstein. Here we go. You are not an accident. Your birth was no mistake or mishap. And your life is no fluke of nature. Your parents may not have planned you, but God did. He was not at all surprised by your birth. In fact, he expected it. Long before you were conceived by your parents, you were conceived in the mind of God. He thought of you first. It is not fate, nor chance, nor luck, nor coincidence that you are breathing at this very moment. You are alive because God wanted to create you. The Bible says, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. So what I want to say about this is, if God created you, and he knew exactly where you would be when you were born. God chose every single detail of you. He created you for the purpose of loving you. And you were created for his purpose, which is to be loved. He created every detail of the earth in order to cater to your being. So basically, he created the earth as a sanctuary for humans and that means that he wants you here isn't that beautiful it makes me kind of emotional so i'm gonna stop recording but thank you guys so much for listening and i pray that this blesses you i will continue to minister to you guys in any way that i can while i'm working on different projects working etc and yeah have a good day